Here are some tips that you can follow to have a better online experience on your Android device. Following this guide, you will be able to have a faster browsing experience, meaning lower load times when you open web pages on your phone, faster streaming as well, meaning your video won't be stuck in buffering for very long, and also you will experience faster data speeds. Please make a note that not all the tips will work out for everyone, so do try them out and see if it actually improves performance or not for you. The first tip I recommend you guys, especially if you have a very old device, is to close any app that is running on your phone. So I'm going to be using the Chrome browser and the tip I recommend you guys is to close any app that is running other than the browser. By closing other apps, I have created more RAM available for the browser on my device. This will also make more processing power available to the device as well and can improve your browsing experience. Second tip is to install a browser that compresses data. I recommend you guys to install the Puffin web browser and go into settings once you have installed it and make sure data savings is set to always here. You also have the ability to adjust the streaming quality and if you lower it, your videos will be buffering a lot less. Here are my stats for a couple of web pages I loaded and it was able to have savings of 84% which is amazing. Third tip is to start downloading files using a download accelerator. The one I recommend you is called Advanced Download Manager. By having multiple threads per download, the Download Manager can actually increase your download speeds. Using the ADM app is pretty easy. All you have to do is tap on the plus option and then you'll need to paste the link of the file you want to download. Once you do that, you do have some additional configurations that you can always adjust. However, for basic users, all they will have to do is just scroll down and look for the start. The file will get downloaded using the download manager. Fourth tip is to try out a faster DNS service. The one I recommend you is called 1.1.1.1 and the app is available for free on Google Play Store. Once you have installed it, open the app and make sure that in settings you have it set to just using the Cloudflare DNS. The app does have the warp option as well. However, personally I have noticed that just using the DNS has increased my speeds. However, feel free to try out the warp as well and see if it increases performance for you. I'm just gonna go with the first option. And once you have done that, go back and make sure it's set to enabled. If you are on 4G or 5G networks, what you can do is you can try disabling Volt and see if that leads to faster download speeds for you. Please make a note that once you disable Volt on your phone, you cannot make calls and use data at the same time. Depending on which area and network provider you are with, in certain cases 3G might perform better than 4G which is also called as LTE. So what I recommend to you is that you try out 3G and see if that leads to improved data performance for you or not. Now if you are already on 3G, you can always try going with 4G and see if that leads to improved performance. If you have the Facebook app installed on your device, go in settings and privacy and then select data saver. Make sure that it's turned to on. Turning this feature on will help reduce image size and stop videos from playing automatically which will help you use less data. If your router has both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, make sure that you're always connected to 5G. If you use Google Maps a lot, you can actually use their offline map service which will make loading maps really fast for you and you can select whichever area you want to download the maps for and it shows you how much size it will take up as well.
If you are playing YouTube videos and having buffering issues, what you can do is you can select the video that you're playing and then go into settings and under settings look for quality and make sure that it's selected to 480p or less. By reducing the quality, what you have done is you have actually reduced the amount of data the service would be using as well and it's going to lead to lower loading times. Depending on which phone you have, certain phones have an option in Wi-Fi settings that you might find useful and it's called traffic mode. Select that option and go for extreme mode which will prioritize the current application that you're using and reduces the data or bandwidth available to background applications. Another thing I would like to recommend is for you to start using lighter versions of apps when available. For example, Google has a lot of lighter versions for each app. For photos, it has Gallery Go, it has Google Go for search, and you can download these apps and notice that they actually help you search faster or access your photos faster as well. If you have really slow upload speeds, what I recommend you is to start compressing those videos. For example, I have this video which was originally 127 megabytes and I compressed it to 51 megabytes, which would reduce my upload time by less than half of what it would originally take. You can find a ton of these video compressor apps on the Google Play Store and most of them are available for free. In case you upload a lot of images, you can actually compress those images before you upload them and that will save you a lot of time as well. In case none of the tips work for you, what you're looking at is either you need to replace your phone and have a newer phone. Maybe it's because you either have a phone that only works with 2G networks and you need a 4G network phone. Or it could also be because you need to have a different network provider. Certain network providers provide faster speeds. So that's something that you'll need to do a little bit more research and see what works for you. Please leave comments as to what tip you found the best that worked for you. I hope you find this video very useful. Thank you. Bye.